Hola my beauties welcome or welcome back to my channel and this is a girl Gurish Kaur and in today's video I'll be testing out Sunny Leone's brand Starstruck and decoding the products and what products I like and which ones I don't so keep on watching to know more Alrighty guys so please mind that I do not have like all the products by Starstruck however I do have like a handful of products so I'm going to browse pehle kar liye because I don't have an eyebrow product from them uh how are we going to directly move on to the concealer we're going to do the base first and then the eyes and then the lips okay all right so this is what the packaging looks like it says starstruck by sunny leone the concealer does not necessarily have a name to it so even on the website it says starstruck by sunny leone and like by each shade it says for fair skin or for light skin it does not even say concealer in the very name of it so you have to know makeup to really pick it up and here i have the shade y triple 1 that is the lightest shade it's starstruck by sunny leone for fair skin with yellow undertone this is the first shade and they have a total of eight shades in their range which is like good or like just fine to be honest it's not great we need more shades sunny like please and this shade is actually a little light on me this was actually sent to me uh by the hyped store i was doing a collaboration with them or something so yeah i did not buy this i received it from them thereby it's kind of not the correct shade and this is what the applicator looks like honestly it's like a very very regular below average applicator and the packaging is nice it's just the standard packaging i would have really loved to see something more and something extra from like an indian celebrity brand i mean there are not a lot of makeup brands by indian celebrities i can really just think of k by katrina at the top of my mind and nobody else right now let me know in the comments below if there really are more brands i know in skin care but not really in makeup makeup any which ways i'm just going to use this today i don't even have a foundation from the brand and as far as i remember i could not even spot a foundation on their website on nykaa so yeah that is that and that's pretty light on my skin so i'm telling you beforehand uh ideally i would have used like a slightly darker shade but that's all i got today to so see if we need or if it's like too bad then we might you know go ahead and make it work with like another concealer foundation shade but for now i'll just go in with this I have actually used this concealer once. Uh, एक ही बार use करी जितना मुझे ध्यान है. In one particular tutorial I did on Women's Day, but I really used it on top of foundation uh, because foundation was a little too dark to just highlight, and I genuinely don't remember much of my experience with it. It was nice and smooth. That's what I remember. Because if it was problematic, मुझे definitely याद रहता. So I guess it wasn't. But let's see how it's you know on its own. By the way, I'm using the Plumes Beauty Blender to blend it out. Dude, this sponge is actually very good. All right, so we see some coverage there. Like the coverage is good. It's like a medium but buildable coverage. Like you, you can definitely build it to a full full coverage. Uh, it's still like pretty high on coverage. So it's medium to full coverage. Regardless of the fact that the shade is a tad bit light on me, the undertone is kind of great. Like it says, it's a yellow undertone, but it's more like a neutral warm undertone. So it's not too yellow or too warm. That's why it's really going well on my skin because I'm like a new warm neutral. Because I'm like a warm neutral undertone. Yeah, love how the skin looks like skin, but you know. concealed like definitely my scarring and acne scars are showing through cuz also I use like a very little amount but it's kind of good i guess it feels very creamy and hydrating on the skin so far you know only if the shade was better it would have better you know covered these marks cuz it's also light so it's not really able to conceal conceal them All right, so this is what the concealer looks like on my face. Like you guys are pretty up close already. On its own, like literally just 
if the shade was right you would see how beautiful it sits on the skin i'm kind of really liking it ek cheez however jo mujhe lagi and that i really want to point out from starstruck is the packaging and the branding and the whole vibe of it is very average i mean given it's owned by a bollywood celebrity i really really wanted more you know also i would have accepted uh this packaging and the whole vibe the very minimal basic black and glass and black packaging if it was like a very affordable brand so it would make more sense like it is affordable but it's still in the mid to high range however i'll just use a tad bit of my nars foundation and even out the skin tone cuz yeah i kind of need to <laughs> All right, I'm back, and I did apply a very, very thin layer of the Nars foundation to even out my skin tone. Now, uh, towards actually one of my absolute favorite products from Starstruck, that has to be their blush stick. This is the one I got. This is in the shade Rosy Baby. First of all, such a beautiful shade, like just the perfect. pink for indian skin tones in specific it's neither too warm nor too cool in and the tone of it it has a mix of brown and mauve but it just looks so rosy and beautiful on us brown skin people and it's actually kind of really really cute i love it on bare skin as well as on top of makeup so literally no complaints from this product of view i personally like to use it i just you know stripe it on my face and blend it with my hands or fingers however since i have like a full face of foundation going on i like to take it on the back of my hand and pick it up with a brush so it's even distribution of product on the brush and then apply it okay you can also use a blender to apply it it's just something i do and it looks beautiful it's such a good blush stick just the most prettiest effortless one of the best blush sticks by an indian brand for sure okay so as you know i love this product and that's what it for this one review now i'm going to go ahead and set this face i don't again have the powder from them they do have one translucent powder but i'm not huge on like white translucent powders and mujhe pata tha agar maine sirf review ke liye le bhi liya to main finish nahi kar paungi to i guess you know fayda nahi tha however i'll just quickly come back set my face and i'll be right back for the eyes All right, so for the eyes, I do have like a couple of eye pencils from them. It's the Stellar Eyes eye pencils, and that's pretty much the only eye product they have apart from like a mascara, but not really like any eye shadows or not even an eyeliner, as far as I remember. So the first one I have right here is this one in the shade Pearl. It also has like a smudger on one end, and they're available in like I guess six to seven shades. This is like great to use in like your waterline or something as like a nude slash. It's just like a pearly shade, like a cream color with like very tiny hints of shine in it. So we'll see to that. However, for the main eye look, I got uh -oh. what the fuck? Bro, I mean, I have been holy. I mean, I got a purple one. I'll try to bro. I have my money for it. Not for it to come like this. I bought it from Nike, just by the way. I mean, it's in the dal to do, but you know, it can come off at any point. It's literally scratching my eye. It did not even come sharpened. Product khola, so now it's like. It's dissembled and I'm mad. I'm mad at this product. It's dry. It's like scratching my eyes and. Alright, so only for the moment to talk about this Stellar Eye pencil, which I've never seen. It just dismantled on its own, dude. Like I really want to believe that I got like a genuinely bad piece by chance types, but how it was, I'll just brief you. Even if this was a bad piece as a customer, not really entertained, right? It felt dry, and even the tip was not sharpened. It came in broken. and it, it was like this is a purana kajal pad hota hai it dry jo tum bilkul rub karna pad it get some pigment out of it and this that's why this is the pigment this is all the pigment i could get out of like this purple eye pencil 
we definitely have a lot more pigmented purple eye pencils on the market so i would definitely definitely recommend those over this like just k by katrina eye stuff eye crayons the cartridges everything is damn good have a trying to keep an open mind i'll go ahead with the second shade this ki halat kharab nahi hai and also this one swatches better in a way like this one goes on a lot more creamier nice and smooth i really want to see how it uh, appears in the waterline okay wow i really wish कि पर्पल आई पेंसिल भी ऐसी होती भाई मुझे बहुत ज्यादा लग रहा है इट्स अ बैड प्रोडक्ट ओनली कोई पुराना पीस मतलब मेरे पास आ गया बट दैट्स नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल एज अ कस्टमर हाउ एवर दिस वन ग्लाइड ऑन स्मूथली लुक्स गुड एक्चुअली या लुक्स काइंड ऑफ गुड इट्स नाइस टू ओपन अप योर आईज एंड इट इज आल्सो नॉट लाइक स्टार्क व्हाइट सो दैट इट विल लुक वेरी ऑड और समथिंग इट लुक्स नाइस एंड सटल टू बी ऑनेस्ट दिस वन ट्रूली सेव्ड द रे All right, and again for the lips, I have two options right here. The first one is this lip liner and creamy matte lipstick set, whatever you want to call it. It's a duo that I got. Uh, so this duo is in the shade zero seven caramelo. So is the lip liner. So I'm going to use this as the first lippy. All right, so apparently that's the first lip combo. This is what the lip looks like. Uh, I don't mind the formula of this lipstick. Honestly, it's like super, super creamy. So if you're like a matte lipstick lover, you're not really gonna dig this one up. It is a creamy matte slash satin lipstick, but I kind of like it. It was pigmented. It was nice and easy, and creamy and like smooth to use. So I did not mind this lipstick in particular. The color, however, I'm not really vibing with the color. It's very, very warm. It's almost like a orangey, like an orangey terracotta shade, and I'm sort of not digging that color as much. But the very uh, lipstick formula on its own is pretty, pretty good. However, the lip liner was such a big disappointment. I don't know if it's the fact that कुछ brands की ना lighter shades के liners या lipsticks उतने अच्छे से glide on नहीं होते, but this was rough, this was dry, and this I really had to like go in so so many times to get on the pigment. And इससे better तो मतलब Swiss Beauty वगैरह के भी lip liners are way more creamier and pigmented and more one swipe application than this. Did not like the lip liner. The lipstick, however, if you like a shade, you can pick it up. Uh, this is what the shade caramel looks like on me. Ah, uh, alright. So I wasn't really vibing as much with the previous lip combo. I do have another lip kit that I purchased from Starstruck again. Well, this one is in the shade, and it has three products. Okay, this is the variant cinnamon. Has three products. Uh, a lip liner the similar you know bullet lipstick and then a liquid lipstick all right so we can also try the liquid lipstick formula from them So it's a lip gloss. How dumb of me to literally even assume that they're gonna put two lipsticks from the same color <laughs> in a lip kit. I got a new lip gloss, you guys. If you don't know, if you're new to the channel, I am a lip gloss addict. So yeah, that's really a pretty deep brown shade of gloss that I generally didn't have in my collection till now. That's cool. You guys, the lip gloss really made me happy. I tell you. I mean, only if it had like maybe a better applicator. It is a good gloss. It's like non-sticky, बिल्कुल sticky नहीं है. Extremely like hydrating and gives that nice luscious look to your lips. Very very lightweight. Mm, I kind of really like it. 
and that's all i got for you today i hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and had fun along the way let me know what other tutorials you want to see in the comment section below thank you beauties see you next time